Kim. Ah, uh, yes? Your wife's pregnant. She certainly is. And so is mine. What? Since when? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been that long. Since we had the, that we did the thing. <gasps> And you did the thing. I did do that. Yeah, so, but we're gonna try the thing called crazy pregnancy combination. Oh my goodness. Let's try that. The other day, I reached out on Instagram to all of my followers requesting the craziest pregnancy combinations or cravings that you had while pregnant. Oh gosh. And the results pretty horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> One of them actually came up quite a bit, and I'm kind of sad because we're not gonna try it oh. because we've tried it before in the past. So, if you don't know, it's one of Cam's all-time favorites, the <laughs> peanut butter and cheese sandwich. It really? Yeah. So I've just been pregnant all these years? <laughs> all these years, you've just Jeez. been pregnant. Look at that. So, but if you'd like to see us try that, I'll link to the weird combinations mm. video that we did before, but. It's not even weird, that's a daily driver. <laughs> Round <laughs> one. All right, so this one is not actually edible, but it was really funny. <laughs> so we're gonna let you guys do kind of what they said. Okay. What is that? Is that is not pine salt. I don't even think you're supposed to touch it. She said, pine salt. I wanted to taste it. So go ahead and take a, take a whiff, maybe. I'm not sure if that's safe, actually. Waft but, uh, it. Waft chemi it. Exactly. Chemistry. Chemi Imagine wanting to taste that. No, thanks. I mean, it kind of smells like the green <laughs> otter pop. Green otter pop? Try it, take a whiff. Think summery green otter pop. I can kind of see that. It more so reminds bit. me of that uh, gin. It reminds me of gin. So if you're a big gin drinker, I could totally see it. This begs the question, has your wife been craving anything? No. Nothing? Not a one? Nothing. Wolf? Wow. Even Jess craved uh, meatball subs early on in her, Dude, she in her first trimester. Yeah, she hasn't been craving anything. In fact, it's more so that she's just not liking things she normally liked. Oh. Round two. two. All right, this one is unique because part of it you can eat and part of it you can't. I'll explain in a second. All right, so what you've got in front of you is ice chips and detergent. Shut up. This lady said she would eat ice chips while Let's smelling the detergent. detergent. All right. Are you sure you guys are pregnant or just like, like what high? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> put it, hurry, get the box. Hurry, get the box. Get the box, put it in there. Ah. I could kind of see it. It's kind of like light and refreshing. You <laughs> I don't get it. It's really fresh. It, <clears throat> it feels like you're you're breathing cold air out of the Alps while someone next to you is doing their laundry. <laughs> what kind of detergent did she use? She got like Tide Pods, we talking liquid, strippy thing. You know what? I, I think I got the, the most sensey one. Mm. Mm. Tastes like shock. <laughs> Fresh sauce. You guys are weird. <laughs> so how's Shaylee doing? You know what? Well, I tell you when I can show you. Sweet. All right. Let's go. All right. Thank goodness this episode of Men Try is sponsored by Helix Sleep. It's the only thing that makes getting through pregnancy at all easy. This bed is not only good for making a baby, but also for bacon a baby. <laughs> Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding to fit your needs and conveniently shipped right to your door. Mm, preach. <laughs> hey Jess, what are you doing? Oh, I'm taking Helix's sleep quiz. What's that all about? Oh, well Helix knows that everybody's different and so they developed this awesome quiz that will match the perfect mattress to your body type. That's Pretty nice. Neat, huh? <laughs> hey Shaylee. Yeah? How do you and Cam sleep? Oh, you know, I used to do like this. Give the old the old backrest. But now that I got this big old bundle of joy cooking, I like to go a little bit of a Give me a second. Oh yeah, a little side sleep. Oh. You know what I mean? Like it's just the perfect. You got a nice support for the belly, comfy on the neck, the shoulders and hips. I can tell you this Helix Sleep mattress makes it real nice to be on my side. 
I've had my mattress for a little over two and a half years now, and even in pregnancy, I sleep like someone that doesn't have babies. Okay. For real though! <laughs> Oh, it's the, uh, the it's dust clocks. It's the dust clocks. I like the dust yeah. clocks. So I was trying to tell you. That's, no, it's just that something before we came all the way down here. <laughs> yeah. We got that Helix Plus mattress. Oh. Carries both of us oh. and this little bundle of joy. Oh, oh. oh. Just, just breathe through it. <laughs> oh. How long do you think until the boys come help us up? They're not coming. They're filming one of their stupid videos. Best part is, Helix Mattress gets delivered right to your door for free if you live in the U.S. and comes conveniently rolled up in a box that's real easy to set up. Which is convenient for our husbands when we pull that pregnancy card and make them do it themselves. And I get it, buying something online is a little bit nerve wracking. So thankfully Helix has a 100 night sleep guarantee where if you don't like your mattress, you can call them up and they will come pick it up completely free and give you a full refund. Sure wish that worked with the kids. <laughs> Thanks to a 10 year warranty, financing options, and a flexible payment plan, a good night's sleep is never too far away. Keep it down in there, I'm tired. Well, we love our mattress and I think you will too. So if you're interested, go to helixsleep.com slash tribe for up to $200 off and two free pillows with your order, or you can simply go to the link in the description below. Ready to go see what those idiots are up to? Right behind you. Okay. Uh, 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 Pregnancy, such a beautiful thing, isn't it? Yeah. The eighth wonder of the world, really. Quite beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Round three. Oh, yeah. Now you're speaking my language. Can we Slim suck him through like a straw? <laughs> Slim, <laughs> Slim Jim. Jim's in Coke. So go ahead and pour out your Coke. Or you can have it out of the bottle. I don't think it really matters. So what are we doing? Now dip it. Oh, I knew it! <laughs> We're dipping our Slim Jim Dipping into a Slim Coke. Jim. This sounds like a you innuendo I ever heard one of my Why is this such go. the goofiest looking snack? Who thought this would have been good? <laughs> Snap into a Slim Jim! What's his name? Randy, Randy Macho Man Savage. Also, that dude did a lot of coke. One sure. of my favorite commercials ever. Remember the, there's the Amish dude, like these kids break, they break down the side of the road. Amish dude picks them up in the carriage and they're just trotting along and they're all eating a Slim Jim. And the one kid's like, what's it like not having any power? And the guy, the Amish guy's like, oh, not so bad. I just get pictures of your mom in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> so good. So you dip it? You dip it in the coke. Like for a certain amount of time? I don't know the Let's soak in. I'm gonna let it soak. As a pregnant woman, I would just say a quick dip because I'm not gonna wanna wait, but. Valid. Look at all bubbly. Did you try it before you dipped it? Yeah. Does it taste any different? It tastes and The Slim Jim itself tastes the same, but you have this initial like, like film of Coke. So you get like a little hit of Coke and then straight into the Slim Jim. <laughs> <laughs> just a little, just a little hit. I'm you telling know. you what, man. Tickles the nostril. I think we got the wrong kind of coke. <laughs> <laughs> For real. We don't know. If you soak it, it does taste different. It does. Almost tastes carbonated. I almost like it faster dip. Yep. I just like quick dip. Quick dip. Not bad. I would Surprising. consider this more of a, a crime of opportunity. Like if I happen to have a Slim Jim and a Coke, maybe I'll eat it this way. Okay. But I wouldn't go out of my way to make that happen. What do you say, Cam? Does it combo? Sure. It cambo. <laughs> it cambo. <laughs> Round four. No. Are you for real? I'm not kidding. If that's what A1 you're and watermelon? Oh, this is fresh. Okay. So, I mean. Just give it a little, it? a little dippy dip. You want to dip it? Yeah, I want dippy dip. Is that enough for you? That's enough dippy dip. This smells horrendous. You smell, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just gotta think it of smells a, raw. A summer barbecue. Your watermelon made it in the I mean, right? Run. You're eating the watermelon and you just happen to smell the barbecue. That's what all yeah. this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're in the summertime. Summertime! 
Uh uh, no, no, uh 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 uh. That's weird. It's like you get kicked in the face and then someone force feeds you watermelon. That is bad. I gotta try it with posterity. It's not good. It's just what I can tolerate. I'm good. Yeah, it's good. No thanks. Just one of those things. Well, like you're so weirded out by it that you gotta taste it again to make sure you were right. You know what I mean? Nope. <laughs> Round five. I almost don't want to know what's in it. I just want to eat it. I can tell you after. That's fine. All right. Let's do it. The better. Done. It's better. I'm it hoping, looks I'm normal. Hoping. Don't look inside. Okay. Don't look inside. I'm not. I'm gonna let them. It looks normal. It looks normal. And so, you know, when you don't know, it's kind of like when you ate calamari the first time. Nobody told you it was in it. They did, after. actually. They told me right before. Oh, gosh. Okay, here we go into the unknown. Boom. I don't know if I can. I, don't, I hate not knowing. Bro, buy it. That slaps. <laughs> <laughs> is this peanut butter and ranch? This is peanut butter and Miracle Whip. No, I don't hate it. I was thinking it was going to be like the jet puffed marshmallow. Ooh, that would be good. I know. It tastes like peanut butter and marshmallow. Okay, Cam, before you before you eat more, this is a twofer. Oh, Okay, there, there's more. Where? Well, you got to do more to it? This, it's not terrible, but no. <laughs> I mean, it just feels wrong. All right, so what you guys just ate is a peanut butter and Miracle Whip sandwich, yeah. which we actually got more than one. <laughs> suggestion for okay but Legit. somebody went above and beyond oh, no. and also put banana slices on it okay that's good banana slices are bomb on peanut butter inside yep go ahead and put it right Did I even inside. get any peanut butter i was just thinking the same I maybe mean, it's because peanut butter is just stronger all right i'm just gonna do two I mean, three. do not look at it <laughs> don't don't look at it whatever you do don't I don't know what you're talking about. I think it looks good. I kind of want to taste it, but I'm not going to. Get out, for real. It looks good. It makes me want to gag with me. Boom. My body's telling me no. <laughs> and I'm nervous about what it will do. <laughs> not that it's like making you me gag. Now here's the thing. The peanut butter and the banana mostly overpower it. It's kind of like an initial <laughs> shock to the tongue, followed up by a peanut butter banana that takes the cake, you know? Would I do this myself? No. Does it kind of work? Yeah, sure. It's it's like I said, it's not bad, but for whatever reason, I it, I in my head, I, I just can't get over it. Not for me. Round six. Oh, that doesn't look that bad. It's just a big old pot of cheese and some cookies. Chocolate chip cookies and warm nacho cheese. Go ahead and dip them again. I mean, it doesn't seem that terrible. Kind of seems exciting. <laughs> It's new, it's intriguing, it's an adventure. <laughs> you know, okay, I, I'll share this, and I'm hoping some of you, and A, actually, here's a combination. <laughs> I'm gonna have you guys try, and maybe you, if you Oh boy. Because I get ridiculed every time I share this with someone. Hmm. One of my favorite weird combinations, you go to Pretzel Maker. Okay. You get a cinnamon and sugar pretzel. Okay. Dip it in the cheese. Really? It is remarkable. It is so good. Okay. It doesn't sound like, and even the guys <gasps> at Pretzel Maker, they'll, you'll go, can I get some cheese? And they'll look. And they'll what? look at you like, why? <laughs> You're like, cause I I'm gonna it. dip it. Okay. I drink the cheese. Bro. I'm a monster. <laughs> Don't knock till so you try good. it. Try it. Have you ever done that? No. Okay, we're gonna do another weird combinations at a later date. Right. We're trying. I'll try it. Oh boy, get in there. You're leak excited. A little about dip this. for the chip. <laughs> Chocolate chip. No. It doesn't mesh. I, I almost feel like the the taste of the cheese disappears really fast. It's a little confusing. It's competing. Because you get hit with the warmth of the cheese, and then it's disappeared in the wash of sugary goodness. Yeah, it like they don't complement each other; they're completely they separate. They contrast. Flavors. Like it's not bad. Clearly, we're not winning. It's so weird. But it's legit like two separate flavors in your mouth at once. Like they're not complementing; they're not competing. They're just kind of like, hey, you got some nacho, okay, and then you got some chocolate chip. Yeah, it's weird. So it doesn't like yeah, it doesn't make me crave the cooking with cheese on it more. Honestly, it just makes me want to eat the cookie. Yeah. 
I agree. Round seven. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's burnt. You put it in too wrong. So they said. It's burnt. Burnt toast. This is dot, just dot, dot, dot. Charcoal. Like really burnt. I did put some butter on it for you guys. I <laughs> don't know if that's how it was eaten or not. But this is gonna make a mess. Really burnt toast. Wow. This is just like a, a dirty crouton. <laughs> a lick of charcoal. Briquette. Yeah. Go out to your grill and just eat a briquette. What the What the heck? There's no way. Hey, you take you take your bite and catch. Okay, thanks. Oh, I'm going first. Yeah, you're going first. <laughs> oh yeah, that's some crustiness. Is it all over? No, surprisingly. Okay, first initial bite isn't bad, but as the burning flavor covers your tongue, it gets bad. Yeah, it's just burnt. It just tastes like burnt. Oh. <laughs> that is so weird. That is so bad. Do you think it happens on accident? Like, I don't know, They man. actually burnt the toast and they smell it and they're like, Oh, that smells delightful. Every time, every time someone burns the toast, and she's like, don't throw it away! <laughs> Just pass it over here. <laughs> Round eight! I'm scared. Okay, this one... Is this just... It could be pretty good, okay? You want to take a guess at what it is? Is this just Cheetos wrapped in a tortilla? Okay, you're you're close. You've got some of the ingredients. There's something in there. It is flaming hot Cheetos uh -huh. wrapped oh. in a tortilla with cream cheese. Oh. And then they said they dip it in sriracha. <gasps> However, I, sriracha. I do not have sriracha. I thought I did. <gasps> so we are substituting for the chili garlic paste. I should have had you bring. I have sriracha. I knew you would. Always have sriracha <laughs> on hand. I'm kind of excited. About I'm this. honestly a little bit pumped. Right, me too. This might be like a new thing. Yeah, Cause you put cream cheese in the sauce all the time. You get your little chip yeah. stuff. Yeah. This is just a chip with a chip. Chip with a pre-chip. Salsa. And with... a dip. This is great. This it's might be a fast way to eat it. Chip is not a pre-chip for the dip. Oh yeah. Mmm. Ooh, hot. Spicy. Whoa. <laughs> That's kind of cool. <laughs> That's hot. That is spicy. What is that? It's made by the same company as Sriracha, I believe, oh. but it's their chili garlic paste. You double dipped the chip. I did double dip. <laughs> I got carried away. You don't double dip you the chip. Dip. You take the chip, you dip, you bite it, dip again. Honestly, this one I can get behind. Bro. This is good. Mm. I'm almost wondering, like, if you put ground beef in this? Mm -hmm. For, for taco. I know, but it would be so good. <laughs> Cream cheese in a taco with hot flame and hot Cheetos. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is incredible. Oh, that was so good. I weirdly hit the spot. Final, Final round. round. Oh, that's easy. Heck that's it. yeah. Bro, I love fun dips so mm. much. Dude, this is the good stuff. Oh, she's about to ruin it. I don't know, Cam. <laughs> is that ranch? That is ranch. <laughs> so. Oh, that just made me like <laughs> shiver. What? This one. I mean, I don't hate ranch. <laughs> this one was very unique. What they do is they take the stick. Uh-huh. You dip it in the ranch. Uh-huh. And then you dip it in the powder. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so you got flavored ranch isn't powder? That gonna, isn't that gonna taint the powder? It has to. You gotta try all three flavors to figure out which one's the best with the ranch. No! <laughs> I don't want to ruin Oh. Bro, what are you new here? My gosh, I love Fun Dip. Dude, Fun Dip's the best. <gasps> Lick a stick. I really don't want to ruin all the Fun Dip. I don't want it. Well, if you think about it, it'll probably stick to it. It's not going to leave. Maybe it will, hopefully. All right, I got to make my holes big enough. The stick doesn't touch the walls. Okay, make sure you guys are watching the video. <laughs> While you listen to this, <laughs> gives a little bit of context. <laughs> so here's what you can do: you can get it on there. You gotta lick the stick first. I did lick the stick. Dippy dip. <laughs> Look at that! Look at the differences in color. <laughs> that is not a. Almost white. looks like country gravy. It does. You go purple Which, first. That's what I was gonna go do. Purple first. You Save the open. best for last. See, so then you gotta take your cream-covered stick. 
Just put it in the hole. <laughs> Just the tip of it though. See, look, it came out dry down. Yes! Perfect! You got your stick dipped, now you eat. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. I choke on it from laughing. You know, I love ranch. <laughs> and I love sugary dips, but I definitely don't like them together. Yeah, that is not Holy a horrendous! That belongs together. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna risk tainting the red, so I'm gonna just stick it right here in this pile. <laughs> <laughs> it is quite remarkable how it only, it does not taint. It doesn't, it doesn't stay behind. <laughs> it's. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay. <laughs> ah! I don't see this getting oh any better. Oh my gosh. Oh, my eyes are watering. Oh, it's so bad. Did you get some of the get a little savory? Powder in your eye? Does not belong with sweet in uh, this form. Nope. Bottoms up. Oh. <laughs> no. That was probably the worst yeah, one. Yeah, that one's bad. That one's really Oh my bad. gosh. That is a bad flavor combination. I mean, I mean, straight up, this is how bad it is. I'm gonna eat the burnt toast. <laughs> to get the flavor. To get rid out. of the taste. <laughs> That's so bad. You you could just try a fun dip. <laughs> oh yeah, I could have done that. <laughs> this one kills all taste in the mouth. <laughs> it's a it's a hard reset. <laughs> you pregnant women are wild. Man. man out here freaking eating <laughs> garbage. <laughs> I smell some ranch <sighs> nearby, some fun dip. It's about to get she's wild. Got, she's got fun dip in her hand. Don't wait up for me, honey. <laughs> I'm impressed that you literally like ruined two of my favorite things. <laughs> ranch and blue. That's true. You put them together and they are horrendous. Well, let us know down in the comments if there's any weird combinations that we failed to use that you'd like to see us maybe try in the next episode. Mm. Like I said, I would love for Cam to try the uh, cinnamon sugar pretzel with some cheese, man. That is like a I'm wild down. but delicious combination. <laughs> if you send me a video or picture of you trying it, oh my gosh, that'd make my day. Huge thanks again to Helix for sponsoring this episode and huge thanks to you for tuning in and making it possible. And uh, we'll see you guys here next time. Have some fun. Deuces. We, we dipping out. <laughs> <laughs> the Knights of the Semi Round Table. The Knights of the Semi Circle. <laughs> <laughs> For pregnant women. We have on hand all the things they want, all the weird stuff. We just put it together. Right? We got one that's like the pre-made cravings and then we got like mix your own.